Hello and welcome to our first lecture from this course on how to use Design Ball to create your specific designs for your own needs, for your business, for your clients, for whatever other purposes you might have in terms of creating graphic designs. Now Design Ball is a free platform that you can use directly online. It's very, very simple to create an account on Design Ball. And after that, you have uh, at your disposal a set of templates that you can use. So it's very, very easy for you to create professionally looking designs without having to outsource anything, without having to spend a lot of hours to practically create designs or templates from scratch. You just have to go ahead, create a free account, follow the steps that you will see in this course, and you will be able to create different types of graphics for your business in no time. So without no further ado, let's go, let's dive into the actual information and show you in this first lecture exactly how you can create an account and how your dashboard will look like. First of all, you can already see that I'm logged in here. I will log out for the moment. This is how the platform looks like. You have to go on designbolt.com. You can see the address here and you have more options of signing up. First of all, if you click sign up, uh, in the right top corner, you will be able to create a new account using an email address and the password, but most of you probably already have Facebook, Google or Twitter, so you can sign up using Facebook, Google or Twitter. It's much more simpler. I've personally used Facebook. Okay. Now let me log in to my account. I will log in with Facebook and you will see I will be redirected in a couple of uh, minutes very, very fast. Okay, just bear with me here and we are pretty much done. Okay, so this is it. This is my dashboard. You will see that I already have some designs in here. You can see after you log in, this is how your dashboard will look like. You will have an upper menu here, a horizontal menu and in the left side, you will have different designs. Okay, uh, left side main menu and here in the canvas, you can see my designs. Okay, so basically things that I've tested, I've created uh, for my own needs. Okay, so very, very simple workspace templates, pricing. You also have a, a pro version of Design Bold, obviously. The option to create a new design, and this is what we are interested in and we will discuss about in the new lecture. And your designs here. If you click on one of the designs, let's say this one. And you double click on it, it will open in a new tab in your browser and you will be able to edit it. Okay. So this is how the, the editor will look like the main editor. Okay. Very, very simple. This is how the dashboard works. This is how you create an account on design ball. Nothing complicated so far. I'm looking forward to see you in the next lecture where we will discuss how you can create a new design. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome back to the next lecture from this course on how to use Design Ball. In this lecture, we will talk about how you can create a new design, how you can select a new template uh, in accordance to the purpose of your graphic design. Maybe it's for your business. Maybe you want to create a Facebook ad. Maybe you want to create a Facebook cover photo. It doesn't matter. You have plenty of templates. And what is more important than that, you have plenty of free templates from which you can choose so you can create the perfect design for your own needs or for your business. So let's dive in. After you log into your account, you will see the dashboard and you will have an option here which says new design. Okay. In the upper horizontal menu, just click on the new design option and you'll see here the possibility to search for a specific type of design. Let's say that you want uh, a Facebook cover or a Facebook canvas. Okay. We have plenty of options. If you will just click in the search option, you will see we have Tumblr graphic, Facebook canvas. You just have to scroll down and you will see plenty, plenty of templates. Okay plenty of them. Another way to go for a template is just to scroll through, through the slides. Okay. Through the slider that you have here with the templates and the images, and you can check all of them out. Another good option is to see all the doc types. Okay. You just click on the bottom view, all doc types, and you will see there are for social media. And then if we scroll down for documents and letters, blogging and ebooks. Basically you have them organized on different categories, marketing materials, events and invitation ads and commercials. And that's pretty much it now because Facebook ads are very popular these days. Let's, uh, let's suppose that uh, we want to create a Facebook ad, right? What we are going to do right now is select this, uh, this option here, Facebook ad, we click on it and you will see that the editor will open in a new tab in our browser. 
So basically what's very cool about Design Vault is that you have access to your designs and to the possibility of creating new designs from anywhere you have an internet connection, a pretty decent laptop or computer and uh, obviously a web browser, right? So let me show you now uh, in the beginning how you can select your own template and in a different lecture we will uh, start to discuss about how to use different types of elements right for your templates so that you can edit them first of all this is the canvas here you will see how the image looks like what we have to do in the first place is give a name to our design let's say that th that this is test one and what we can do right now test one okay we just have to press the check button one second test one we press the check button okay it will be saved like that save design title and in the left side menu from the templates we have to choose a template okay we have plenty of them now the ones which you see that don't have this small icon this small watermark with premium layout those are for free you can use them for free the ones which have the premium layout means that you'll have to pay for them but you have plenty of free ones don't worry okay so i have back to school let's scroll down back to school uh, let me find one that i actually like back to school let's uh, let's try this one back to school okay so this is the facebook ad template this uh, basically here it's like a preview or like the editor and basically you will see that you have the possibility this one is created from more layouts you have the possibility to select different elements from the ad or the template itself and to change them okay like this one from the left side the one from the right side the actual text we can change the text and edit the text let me show you an example text here okay so you put in your own text with your own percentage discounts with your own buttons and you can edit absolutely everything right so this is how you load a new template this is how you edit your template now in the next lecture we will discuss about how you can edit different elements from your template so that it's in accordance to your own needs thank you for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture hello and welcome to our next lecture from this course on how to use design ball to create different types of designs and uh, basically to create the types of graphics designs that you can use for your business without to outsource or spend uh, countless hours on trying to figure out graphic design uh, with complicated uh, apps and softwares like uh, photoshop or other ones so in the previous lectures we we have seen how you can create an account for free on design bold how you can select the template and how you can select different types of elements from your template so you so that you can customize it now we will go in more depth uh, about how you can edit these elements so that you have a great looking design that you can use for your business so first of all in the previous lecture we have selected this design that you can see right now on your screen we have seen that we can select different elements of your designs this is a template which is created from frames so we have like two frames the one from the left side and the one from the right side okay the one from the left side is a photo and we can edit it pretty simple uh, okay you can see that it's a cropped photo if you double click on it you can move it okay around let's leave it like this uh, the forward and the back uh, buttons represent uh, basically the editor works in layouts so you have different elements and you can bring an element to the front of the layout or you can put it in the back of the layout let me show you more exactly on the text how this works uh, if we take it back you won't be able to see it right if we uh if we put the the background the black background back you will be able to see the text again because the text is again uh in the front of the one of the front layouts right so uh we have different elements which represent different layouts and we work with different lay layouts okay so one can be in the front and another one in the back obviously we want the text to be in the front all the time uh, now let me show you how we can change uh, the photo here you have the option to crop it uh, you have the option to delete it uh, you have the option to set transparency you have different filters which is pretty cool let me select the filters just one second okay uh, you can see that we have uh, some predefined filters here like festive okay and you can see it's changed right now we can select the intensity of a filter which is pretty neat okay we can highlight if we want to so we have different options for these filters which is pretty damn cool right 
Uh, then we have spacing. Okay, from the borders of the photo, we, we want to use probably a lot of that. And that's pretty much it. And we can change the actual photo. Now, how do we change the photo? We go in the left side menu in the element section. We look for free photos. We select all. If you want, you can also upload your own elements. And let's say that we want to put in this one. We just select it and just drag it and drop it here. Okay, very, very simple. So absolutely very simple. This is how you how you edit this part, okay, with the photos. Now let's go to the right side of the image. Uh, here we have a black background. We can change it from here. We have this menu. We can put it on red if we want to. Okay, it looks more nice. Or we can choose the color from here. Okay, let's leave it like that. Then we have the text. We just have to select the text. Okay, and we can customize the text. Just put it home. Okay, we can change the font if we want to. Let me just select the whole text again. We can change the font uh, with this one, for example. You have plenty of fonts here. I'm just showing you guys examples. From here, we can change the size of the font. Okay, we can copy the text. We can delete it. And we have some other options as well. Uh, which are available for some fonts and from other ones not. For example, if we choose the font Arial, we will have also the option to have a, a bolded text, an italic text, uh, the uppercase text, okay? You can see that it makes all the letters uh, upper letters. Uh, we can align it, text spacing, we can link the text and we can give it transparency, okay? Make it less visible, like this one. This is just an example. So this is how we edit text. Then we have these uh, elements here, like these arrows. We can change the color to them. the The rest of the the rest of the text, you know how to how to use it, okay? And how to customize this. This this is basically how you can customize your template. Now, obviously, you can add different new elements to your template. And if we go in the left side menu in a different lecture, we will show you how you can use uh, elements more in depth like on a black on a on a black on a blank canvas and you can see that we have different elements here like grids free photos uh, premium database shapes Le uh, if we click on all we will be able to see all the shapes right that we can use and let's say that we want to in insert a new shape we will just select a new shape let's say this one and we have inserted it right and we can play with the shape we can change the colors every shape will have different options let's delete this one okay but that's the whole idea I mean you understand we can we can also drag and drop it we can edit the shapes we can do whatever we want with them they are simple layers right pretty neat pretty simple pretty cool right so we can add different elements all the time so we have shapes we have grids we have photos, we have frames. Let me just click on the close button. Lines, we have lines. We can see all the lines in here. Okay, let's go back. And plenty of other options as well. We can close the menu, bring it back. Let me scroll down a little bit. We have frames and we have icons. Icons are pretty cool because you can add different elements like emoticons to your image and so on. But we will discuss about that in our next lecture. That was pretty much for this lecture. I hope that you understand much better right now how you can customize your template and edit it. And in the next lecture, we will, we will see how we can use different elements and how to insert text in our uh, graphic. Now, uh, thank you very much for your attention and we are looking forward to see you in the next lecture. Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this course on how to use Design Ball to create your own graphic designs for your own needs and for your business. In the previous lectures we have seen how you can create an account for free, how to customize and edit different elements of your templates and how to add different new elements, elements to your templates. Now we will discuss about the menu that we have in the left side when we are actually editing our own canvas, how to add different types of elements and texts to our uh, to our graphic to make it look better and how to use the icons. Now, you have previously seen how uh, how to open this template that we have right now on the screen in the canvas editor and we will use the same 
uh, graphics in order to uh, to showcase the other uh, features that we have with design ball so first of all let's take the left side menu so we have the element section which you are already familiar with and we haven't seen the, the icons part and the frames part the icons we just have to open all of them and we have different icons that we can add to our design so we make them look better for example uh, very recently we had Christmas and obviously we had different uh, icons for Christmas this is just an example now if we scroll down we can see different other types of icons let me just check okay like this one the euro sign I will delete this one uh, this compass okay for the, the email addresses and the different types of icons okay so this is how we can use icons we also have something which is very interesting we have frames inside of frames we can put different photos for example this is a frame and if we go to the free photo section here in the left side menu let's say we want to put this frame just one second let's make this bigger okay we have put the photo here in the frame now we can edit it we can double click on the photo so we can move it make the photo maybe okay smaller bigger it doesn't matter okay now let me delete the frame so this is how frames work we have polygons but you have seen them already in shapes now let me close this one so this is how frames works and we also have grids grids are pretty uh, let's say grids are a way of uh, of using your whole canvas okay in, in different parts and let's see all the grids that we have basically uh, the program automatically splits our canvas our whole uh, our whole graphic in different parts that we can edit separately okay we have different types of grids we have selected one with two parts they are like like photo layouts if you know photo layouts okay for example right now in this one we can put different photos let's go to free photos uh, we can put this one here we can add this one here we can put this one here this one here so we can actually use this to create photo layouts as well so this is how the the grids are working okay now let me show you another thing how we can use the backgrounds uh, we have different types of backgrounds in our case we won't see the backgrounds because uh, we need a clear editor and that's why I've deleted everything for example let's say we want black we can select different types of colors then we also have patterns here we can select different types of patterns so this is how we change the backgrounds okay pretty nice pretty simple not complicated at all now let me show you how we can add text we just select the text icon and you will see that we also have templates for text for example this one here this one is a template for a text we can double click on it change the name test one change the actual text sorry okay here we have the option uppercase so this is how we can add different types of text and use templates for text pretty interesting right okay title again another template uh, this is like a, a small graph or chart another type of template numbers so we have different different options okay stamps lots of different options okay for text and we can also add our own text like headings and we have here let me just change this one add test one okay and what's very interesting we can change the font as you already know we can select our own fonts we can select we can change the type uh, the the size and also we have the options for bold italic different options for the text okay I will delete this one so this is how we can add 
different types of text. And then we have another section which is called tools. But in this section, uh, we will go through this section in our next lecture. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that now it's more clear to you how we can use the elements, the frames, the grids, and also how we can change the background and add text to our design. Thank you for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture where we will see how we can use charts and Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this course on how to use Design Ball to create your own graphics designs for your own needs or your own business. Now in this section I am going to show you exactly how you can use charts and maps, uh, two special tools that Design Ball has uh, and which makes it different than, uh, than other graphic design tools uh, which are online and also for free out there. So what we have to do after we are logged into our dashboard and account, let's say that we want to use charts or maps, we just have to go in the left side menu in the tool section and we will see that we have charts and maps and we go through the charts. Let's say that we want a gradient hierarchy. This is how it will look like, okay? And if we select the gradient hierarchy, we will see that we have a menu here and we have data. Okay. And we have a chart data like an Excel, which we can edit. For example, 2019. Okay. But if we put this, we basically destroy the, the hierarchy. We can also add D, which is 12 let's say and if you make it a gradient hierarchy this is how it will look like okay gradient hierarchy has only one type of data if we make a pie it will look like this if we also add 2019 this is what we will have uh, let's say 14 okay it adds something new okay it adds a, a comparison right staked then when the data has one column, pi, area. Okay, when the data, there are, there are different types of charts because some you can use for only one type of data and others for two types of data. As you have seen that the gradient hierarchy you can use for only one type of data. The area type of chart like this one you can use for two types of data like 2019 and 2018 in this case, right? So it's pretty cool. We also can change the settings for the chart like general settings, we can add a title, okay, color, uh, title position, top or bottom, axis, grid, yes or no, legend, I think it's better to have it, title color, we can use yellow, text color, red, these are just examples, set color to all, individual color setting this is better so we also have these very cool settings let's go back to data so this is how you will use a chart type pretty interesting right now let me also show you how you can use the maps section let's delete the chart let's go in the map section we have different regions and countries so we have southeast asia we have south america Oce Oce oceania africa world and asia let's select africa Okay, we have Africa here. And if we select the element, you will see that we have data. If we select data, data, we have different countries. Let's say that we want Guinea. Okay, we have selected Guinea. And we can change the color of the borders okay it shows the states and the values we have different values for different states we can change the colors of the states which is pretty neat edit the map we can see the visualization area value map okay which is pretty cool choose value colors range start and select the map Let's go back, let's select Europe. For example, we have Europe, edit the map of Europe, same thing. Okay, 
So we have these options to also add and play with the maps, which is pretty cool. So charts and maps are something which we don't find in other uh, online app designs like Design Bolt. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. You have understood understood better how to use charts and maps. And we are looking forward to see you in our next lecture where we will discuss about more features that Design Bolt has to offer to us. Again, thank you for watching and we are looking forward to see you in the next. Hello and welcome to our next lecture from this course on how to use Design Bolt to create different types of designs that we can uh, use in our business or for our own purposes. Previously in the other lectures you have seen how we can select a template, how we can use different elements, how we can customize that template and now I want to show you how you can upload your own photos and how you can also use your own fonts because this can be in your advantage. So first of all after you are logged in after you have selected your template or you have selected the option to design uh, a graphic from scratch, uh, you will be in the canvas in the editor and in the left side menu you will have an option which says upload. First of all we have photos, we will click on the drag files here, we will select an option, for example this photo and it will upload the photo for us. Very simple, we can see that it has been a success, okay, here. Now in the case of fonts it's uh, pretty similar, it's pretty easy. We have to drag the, drag the files here or to browse. We, it, they have to be in OTF, TTF or WOFF formats. So the formats of fonts. Now for example let's say that we go on a website like 1001freefonts.com. Here we can find free fonts. Let's say we go in the 3D section, we scroll down, we see a couple of uh, cool free fonts. We select one of them like National Cartoon free for personal use. We download it. We go on our computer for the font. It's in TTF format. We extract the font National Cartoon TTF. Okay and now let's go back to Design Bold. We click the browse button select for national cartoon TTF so this is the actual font we open it I have the right to use this font upload now and you will see that the font is uploaded close list fonts national cartoon very simple now if we go in the text section let's say we select this one Forbes uh, let's select black color okay and if we want to change the font, well actually not in this case because it doesn't work in this case, but for an actual text element like this one, add heading, we go to national my fonts, just one second, my fonts, national cartoon. Pretty cool, right? So it has changed to national cartoon, test one. This is how we can use our own fonts. Let's make it bigger. It looks pretty nice. Very, very cool template, right? So this is how we can use our own fonts, our own images. We just go in the upload section and that's pretty much it, right? Uh, we have uh, five fonts that we can upload of our own. Uh, if we want to replace them, we have to delete the old one. It's pretty simple, right? Just press delete and it will be gone. Now another option that we have in the menu is quick access. Here basically if we have different favorite items we can select them or purchased items we can select them. Now how we put some elements here in favorites. For example let's go into elements. Uh, we go in all icons and let's say we have an icon which is a favorite this one and the like one. Okay. Now if we go to quick access we can see in favorites that we have already these icons here and we just have to select them from here and it will appear for us. If we have purchased any type of elements we will have them here. Okay, So that's pretty much it. That's how we use the upload function and also the quick access functions from the menu. You have seen that the upload function is pretty cool especially for the fonts. Now thank you very much for watching. We are looking forward to see you in the next lecture.